Hello friends, Srinivas here. Welcome to our channel. Today I am going to show like uh, how we can import uh, cost from Oracle Paper. Okay. So suppose I am going to create invoices, supplier invoices and uh, I have incurred some expenditure for a specific project and uh, tax and that information or that expenditure I just want to collect to the Oracle project. Okay, so let us start. <clears throat> so let me show you the project I have created. Project financial management and uh, I have this existing project 3 project 3. Okay, so for this project I just want to import some cost from Oracle Pay. So what I need to do I'll go to Oracle Payable and uh, I'll create one supplier invoices. Okay, I'll create one supplier invoice. Go to Payable and Tax Panel, create invoice. <coughs> Give the business unit name, US1 business unit. Supplier is ABC Consulting. Nine thousand five hundred. So, PA invoice. So that is my invoice number. Invoice amount is nine thousand five hundred. Now go to line. Okay, so here give the line amount. So this is this distribution set is pre-populating as per the current setup. Invoice. Okay. So here the most important thing is we have to provide the poet information so that we are able to know that for which project we are incurring this expenditure so that we will able to import the cost for that project. So select the seed project 3. So once you select the project number, you have to provide some additional information. So complete it, it is called POET information. P means project number. Okay. O means organizations, expenditure organizations. Okay. So suppose I will give her 2.2. The tax months. P O. O for expenditure organization. I want to give her consulting US. So expenditure owning organization and tax owning organizations, we have classified this department as specific organizations, okay, under our business unit. So that they are available in our organization hierarchy as organizations. Expenditure type, what kind of expenditure type? Suppose it's contract fee. Okay, so these are the main mandatory information we have to provide for project. And uh, once you save the information, tax will be calculated. If there is tax for this uh, invoice. So now, if there is no tax, tax will not be calculated. So click on validate. So you can see, once you start 
once we validated the invoice uh, automatically the tax amount has been included and uh, invoice actually on hold because of a line variance because the invoice header amount is not equal to invoice line amount so it's a system hold so what we can do we can change the header amount to the complete amount including tax so that is 10,355 okay so now invoice header amount is equal to invoice line amount so now we can able to validate again okay so once you validate we have to account the invoice so that is also mandatory to import the cost to oracle project go to action and uh, click on post to ledger so that the accounting will be created and it will be posted to ledger so now it's done accounting has been created so now invoice is accounted and validated save and close so invoice number is pa invoice 2 so now we can go to oracle project and uh, navigate to cost project project cost now go to tax panel and uh, click on import cost so import cost for which source the transaction source is oracle fusion payable document is supplier invoices okay so for this transaction source we can create multiple documents like expense report intercompany invoice payment and supplier invoice so i have created the invoice okay now these are the mandatory information we have populated and then click on submit so once you submit the invoice we can come here to process monitor and refresh the screen and uh, check the import status import cost status we can see here so keep on refreshing till uh, the program program is get succeeded okay so now you can see the import cost process is now successful that means we have successfully imported the cost to the project now we can go to the project we can see sorry we can go to the manage cost project cost and uh, we can able to see the project cost information here just click on search okay so 9500 you can see here the last one 185812 that is the unique transaction number has been created okay so these are the informations if you go to casting and go to action and post to ledger click on okay if you want to view the accounting you can see here click on done 